particular moment. It's designed around an approach of telling me what I need to know, when I need to know it, and allowing me to sit back and take the big decisions. Uh, we have a situation display in the centre. It's like a window on the world, 360 degrees, not only just what's in front, but what's going on behind. On the right-hand display, I've called up the stores format to check what uh, weapons are fitted, and by simply pressing a button, I can revert it back to the engine instruments, which is uh, relevant for takeoff. This is where test pilots get their first taste of Typhoon, the simulator. OK, we're just taking off, we're going to lift the gear. In the simulator, the pilot's head-up display is projected on the screen. Head-up displays project uh, instruments and uh, weapon aiming data on a piece of glass, effectively, that's mounted in ahead of it. So all the information that the pilot really needs immediately to fly the aircraft is in the head-up display. On the Typhoon, the computer and the pilot actually talk to each other. Pull up! Pull up! But what's really amazing is the cockpit's targeting system. The computer continually scans the pilot's eyes. It always knows exactly what he's looking at, so the pilot can lock onto a target just by glancing at it. And the cross is coming down onto that symbol there. That's what we're going after, and they'll fire the missile now. So computer technology has given extraordinary new levels of performance. The cockpit has truly become the nerve center of the fighter jet. But what next? Here is the new generation, the F-22 Raptor and the Joint Strike Fighter, JSF. These futuristic aircraft are designed to be invisible to enemy radar. Stealth has become the new obsession. By looking at them, you can see that they are different from existing conventional fighters in their shaping and when you look a little bit more closely you can see that they've also been treated in a certain way to re cross section. What you're trying to do is to maximize the amount of surprise, not be seen until the last minute. Extraordinary aircraft, yes, but their shelf life may already be limited. At the moment the future for jet fighters looks very much um, man-free. What? advantage does the pilot give us? Should we ask that? Are there some benefits about actually getting rid of the pilot? And is that a worthwhile thing to do? This may be the ultimate destiny of the fighter jet. UCAVs, unmanned combat aircraft vehicles. I think in 15 to 20 years the balance will be shifting um, in favor of the machine and that people like me will become obsolete. Mankind may be about to engineer himself out of the cockpit. <laughs> <laughs>